Hey guys, this is Jack's Photoshop Tots, and today I'm going to show you how to make a super glossy texture effect. Now, this shouldn't be too hard, and I know it's off schedule. This is my last video off schedule. The rest will be on Monday and Thursdays, like I said. The only ones I won't be doing on schedule are special videos and videos which are very simple and easy like stuff like basics like how to make a brush now first you want to start off by clicking on file and then new and as some of you may may know if you watch all my other videos I always do it with my resolution of my background but with this one you really don't have to if you're just using it for any old nothing then it really doesn't matter so just hit OK if you've got the resolution you want and then we'll get started. OK so you want to start off by going on to Paint Bucket Tool and fill the background black if it's not already. For example my transparent needs to be black. Now right click and go on to Blending Options. Now you want to set a gradient overlay and I will show you the, show you the options now. Okay, so you want radial and possibly reverse. I don't quite know yet, but I'm going to show you the colors I'm going to have for it. So I'm just going to hit okay just for now. And then I'm going to change the colors in a minute. Okay, so for the foreground I'm going to have a lightish gray. Now, for this I'm probably going to have, um, let's say, 54, 54, 54. That'll do for me. Now, for the background, let's have 34, 34, 34. And that'll be about okay. You don't want something too dark or too bright. And so just go on to your gradient overlay again, blending options, gradient overlay, and just click the down arrow here and just click that. Now if the brighter colour is on the outside you want to just hit reverse or uncheck reverse, either one just so that the brighter colour is in the middle and you can only slightly tell and that should be about fine okay so basically you want to keep them settings the same they are fine yeah I thought you had to change no they're fine now you want to slap on your text I'm going to use my usual text until I find something better but for the moment I'm just going to stick with this neck plus ultra I think that's right now I don't really want to mess around with this well fill about with it that much so I'm just going to slap on the text will not really be that fussy now make sure you change the colour of this to something like I think yeah it's black that you want to change it to only for the moment you won't really need it later on because you're gonna set a uh, color overlay later so just set it to black and that should be fine now if you want a second text layer just write on something else on a new layer so I'm just gonna write sub Drive. Stretch out across there. More right there. Now that's about fine. Uh, and so now you want to go onto your text. Right click. Blending options. Now this is where most of the annoying parts which you might need to pause the video for. For fill in the details or well, basically you're going to need to check a lot of stuff and edit a lot of stuff 
First you want to start off with Drop Shadow. Now, the settings you will need are... So yeah, I've just quickly paused this then uh, I've uh, typed in the stuff. Basically you're going to need... That is Multiply, it should be that already. Opacity, 33%. Angle 120. Wait, no, I think that's 138. I'm not sure. I'll check in a minute if it's wrong. 16, 15, 9. Now you want anti aliased unchecked. It should be unchecked already. Noise 0%. Layer knocks out, drop shadow checked. And you want the contour to this end one here. Now, once you've done that, you want to move on to inner shadow. No, I'm just going to check if... Uh, yeah, that's not right. That's 138, actually. So, just 138. Right. So, basically, once you've done that, you want to move on to Inner Shadow. Now, this should be 120. Just ignore them. Um, I'll type in the other stuff while the video is paused and tell you what it is after. Okay, so basically you want to keep multiply. If it's not multiply, change it to multiply. Opacity 60, angle 120, uncheck, use global light, 1209. Um, you want to get these, like, they look like, kind of like teeth. So, teeth for the contour, anti alias unchecked, 0% noise. Next you want to move on to, I think it is, Inner Glow. Now I'm going to pause it and type in the things for that. Okay, so basically I've typed in the stuff again there. You want to change this from screen to overlay. Opacity 60%, noise 0. Colour, change this to white up there. You want precise edge if it's not already. Uh, choke 15, size 32, contour to this kind of like little slope kind of thing, which should be the third one along from the top. And then range, range 50, jitter 0, anti aliased unchecked. Next, you want bevel of emboss. Now this is where you will need to download the uh, texture. I will be putting the link to this in the description along with a video on how to do it. Now this really isn't that hard to download. All you have to do is right click save picture, open it up in Photoshop and then follow the video. Now when you've done that I'll just carry on as if you already know and then now I'm going to fill in the details and tell you what they are. Okay, so now you're on bevel and emboss, have that checked. Inner bevel, smooth, 75%, up, 15, 0. Okay, next you want to go on shading this bit here. 100 and f I think it's 158, I'm not sure, I'll check in a minute. Okay, yeah, so it's 158, uncheck use global light, 64, and now the con the gloss contour, you want the teeth, but with it cut off a bit, the other side. And that will be bottom row, second one. Make sure anti-aliased is checked, and you want highlight mode, screen, white, 100%. Shadow mode, normal, black, 50%. Now you want to move on to texture. Now, when you've downloaded the texture, it should be this one. And leave as it is. 100 plus 100, link with layer. That's fine. Now you want to go on to colour overlay. Now notice how the effect's kind of coming on there now. But it's not quite done yet. And I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay, now there wasn't much to do on this, just leave it at 100%, but the colour I've set, which I paused and fiddled around with, with a bit, 
was this colour. Now that looks alright. Um, and that was O O F C E O. If you didn't get that, we'll put it in the description. Now, before you go on to the final bit, which is the stroke, you want to set your colours to foreground colour, the colour that your text is. O O F C E O. And now your background colour, black. And now you can go into stroke. Now you want size 3 pixels, colour gradient, and now select this one. Now I'm going to fill in the stuff and come back to you when it's done. And then we're pretty much done after that. Okay, so all I've done there is just change that to 90. Everything else should be fine. Now, I've had to check reverse because my black's on the top. Basically, you can stop that by just swapping them around or press X, but you have to close this menu first. So, but just to save time, I've just hit reverse. Make sure the black is on the bottom. And then you can go ahead and hit OK. Now, I'm going to swap these around and select my foreground or background, should I say. Now, I'm going to set this to a nice red. I'm going to copy that, Control C, OK. Now you want to right click your original text layer that you've just done all the effects on and click copy layer style. Now to your second one, paste layer style. Now all you want to do, open up blending options. And change the color overlay to the color of your text which you've just copied. And the stroke, just click down and click that. Now, once again, it set it the wrong way, so I'm going to click reverse and it's on the bottom. You, so it doesn't matter if they swap round or anything, you still have to click reverse or uncheck reverse, whatever. Um, and so, click OK and that's round about it. And to me that looks, v <coughs> to me that looks very glossy. Well, I'm just going to zoom in a bit, so 6.5, that'll do for me. So as you can see, that's quite nice, isn't it? Not too bad. So if you ever want to super glossy effect, there you have it. I'll see you next time in hopefully a very good video and that will be tomorrow unscheduled which is a special video and the next one will be on Thursday so see you then.